Welcome to the Caffeinated Bible. Today, we're looking at Luke chapter 6, and this is the reading for the seventh Sunday after Epiphany in the third year of the lectionary cycle. Now, I've got some show and tell for you today, but the first thing I want to show you is my little plant over here. This plant has one flower a year, and I was really looking forward to showing it off to you guys. And I don't know what I did, but it's all withering up. So you're gonna have to wait till next year to see what this looks like, hopefully. Anyways, let's get back to our video. Today, we're looking at the golden rule. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Now this passage is best known as the golden rule. And the golden rule occurs twice in the New Testament, once here, and once in Matthew 7, verse 12. This rule was the true north that the early church lived by. If you're new here, you're watching the Caffeinated Bible. My name is David Paris, and for the past 20 to 30 years, I've been teaching in graduate schools and seminaries. And the goal of this channel is to take what I've been teaching in those classrooms, break the four walls of the classroom wide open, and make this available to anyone on the internet. So if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you have a question or an idea. This is important on YouTube for some reason. It lets them know that these videos are well made and people enjoy them, and so then it will recommend it to other people. Thanks. Luke 6:27 to 38 reads, and I'm reading out of the New English translation today. But I say to you who are listening, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other as well. And from the person who takes away your coat, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who asks you. And do not ask for your possessions back from the person who takes them away. Treat others in the same manner that you would want them to treat you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those for whom you hope to be repaid, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners, so that they may be repaid in full. But love your enemies and do good, and lend, expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, because he is kind to ungrateful and evil people. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be poured into your lap. For the measure you use will be the measure you receive. The golden rule is not unique to Jesus. The earliest versions of the golden rule in the Bible is found in Leviticus 19.18. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Here the golden rule is pegged to Israel's relationship with its God. I am the Lord. There are other echoes of Leviticus in this passage as well. The command in Leviticus 19.15, you shall not render an unjust judgment, is generalized in this passage as, do not judge and you will not be judged, verse 37. About 300 years before Jesus gave his version of the golden rule, we have a version of it found in the book of Tobit. Now, Tobit is an apocryphal text about the life of two Jewish families taken into captivity by the Assyrians around 700 BC. Tobit is written around 300 BC though. Now in Tobit, the golden rule is put in the negative form. Do to no one what you yourself dislike. About 100 years later, another apocryphal text, the wisdom of Ben Syrah, also includes a version of the golden rule. Recognize that your neighbor feels as you do and keep in mind your own dislikes. That's Ben Syrah, chapter 31, verse 15. 
The golden rule was also widespread in the ancient world. The ancient Egyptians taught that which you hate to be done to you, do not do to another. Among the ancient Greeks, there are various forms of the golden rule preserved. Perhaps one of the best known is from Plato. Do to others as I would that they should do to me. Jesus' is teaching on the golden rule and many of the other principles in this passage here are an expansion or interpretation off Leviticus 19. For example, Jesus' is teaching that we are not to retaliate evil with evil is really a form of Leviticus 19 verse 18. You shall not take vengeance or bear grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself, for I am the Lord. And he expands its scope in verse 27 of Luke chapter 6, Jesus expands this to we are to love our enemies. In verses 27 through 30 of chapter 6, Jesus teaches how we should respond to the actions of others. We are to love our enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other cheek as well. And from the person who takes away your coat, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who asks you, and do not ask for your possessions back from the person who takes them away. In these verses, the golden rule is given tracks to run upon. And notice how difficult this path is to traverse. How do we apply the golden rule to those who hate us, curse us, mistreat us, hit and steal from us? Instead of returning tit for tat, we respond with love. We do good to them, we bless them, we pray for them, we give to them. It's what a friend of mine called doormat theology. In a sense, we just don't let them walk all over us, but we actually help them to do it. We don't react, we respond. To follow Jesus at this point calls us to live above, beyond, and outside of ourselves. Because when someone mistreats us or treats us in this way, our natural reaction is to retaliate and protect ourselves. No other teaching of Jesus was picked up and understood as a general principle to live the Christian life by the early church than this passage. The Didache, or the Lord's teaching through the 12 apostles, is a great example. The Didache was written around 100 AD. It was so popular, it was included in many early versions of the New Testament. And you can pick up a copy of this if you're interested. I have a copy here that's translated by Michael Holmes. It has a collection of others. The Didache is just a small part of this. I'll include a link to this version underneath the video. You can pick up your own copy if you're interested, and I highly recommend it. But I'll also have a link to it online, so you can read it online if you're interested. But I'm going off topic here. Let's get back to our passage. This passage in Luke 6 is preserved for us and paraphrased in the Didache starting in chapter 1, verse 2. Now this is the way of life. First, you shall love God who made you. Second, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But whatever you do not wish to happen to you, do not do to another. And that's the version of the golden rule preserved in the Didache. The teaching of these words is this, bless those who curse you and pray for your enemies and fast for those who persecute you. But what credit is it if you love those who love you, do not even the Gentiles do the same, but you must love those who hate you and you will not have an enemy. If someone gives you a blow on your right cheek, turn to him the other as well and you will be perfect. If someone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. If someone takes your cloak, give him your tunic also. If someone takes from you what belongs to you, do not demand it back for you cannot do so. Give to everyone who asks, and do not demand it back. For the Father wants something from his own gifts to be given to everyone. This is a great example to show us how by 100 AD, this passage from Luke has made it to the very opening of a text like the Didache. Another very early text is that of 1 Clement. Actually, 1 Clement was written before the Didache. It was written around 70 to 90 AD. Traditionally, this letter is believed to be written by one of Paul's disciples, Clement, who went on to become the leader or the bishop at the church in Rome. This is a letter that Clement then wrote back to the church at Corinth and addressed issues there. 
Clement's advice to the Corinthians draws from Luke chapter 6. And once again, this is in the Apostolic Fathers by Michael Holmes, and I'm reading from 1 Clement chapter 13, verses 1 and 2. Most of all, let us remember the words of the Lord Jesus, which he spoke as he taught gentleness and patience. For he said this, Show mercy so that you may receive mercy. Forgive so that you may be forgiven. As you do, so shall it be done to you. As you give, so shall it be given to you. As you judge, so shall you be judged. As you show kindness, so shall kindness be shown to you. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Throughout the Greek and Latin speaking churches, the golden rule was seen as a summary of all the commandments in the Bible. They also believed that wasn't just limited to those within the church, but was written by God on the hearts of everyone. Justin Martyr, Tertullian, Origen, Basil the Great, and John Chrysostom are just a few of the early church fathers who held to this view. Jesus places the golden rule within an eschatological or an eternal perspective. We don't just follow the golden rule because it's a good thing to do, but because our lives will be judged by this standard in the future. Luke 6.35 reads, But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Verse 36 in Luke once again goes back and echoes Leviticus 19, verse 2 this time. You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. Both Leviticus and Luke bring up this idea of imitation, like a small child imitating their parents. Sometimes the kids do this to great effect and reflect the best traits of their parents. And then there are those times when the imitation reveals in a very humorous way one of the parents' foibles. The question this passage confronts me with is, am I imitating Jesus' teachings and his life? Am I living my life just as my father is? And is the golden rule the guiding compass needle within my life? Let me close with Luke 6.38 because I love this verse. I think it's very poetic and beautiful. And this is my own translation, so it's a little different than the net translation. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken up, overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure you measure will be measured back to you. Peace.